Me and Raph, Light and Rido, and then we're also going to have uh, Fatality and Wadi. Uh, let me just correct myself there really quick. We're going to have Gluttony and Wrath. We have two streams. Uh, BTS Smash has the secondary stream here with Gluttony and Wrath playing on that one. Make sure you guys are getting the multi Twitch up. Of course, this is a most likely a squad stream here. But before we get to any of these matches, let's get on to T and Zachary. T, of course, you guys already know him, the best link in Japan. And Zachary, one of the finest to come up here as of late. Yep, definitely one of the most compelling stories uh, for Zachary, especially. Yeah. Especially seeing his performances at like Super Smash Con, for example. Just being just, just right there. Being able to take out some of the best names in the world, but he's definitely turned around, made a name for himself. So let's see how this goes down. T, we haven't quite seen in a while. Mm -hmm. we, he's been, he was rocking, I believe, the Young Link and the regular Link. Yes. Bink, if you partake in that term. I don't personally, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. And if, let me give you guys a quick update. I know if you guys have been watching the stream and been waiting, listening to us uh, <laughs> since the morning at 11 a.m., I did tell you guys Ken is in Losers. He was sent to Loser by, by Runes. I'm pretty sure you guys saw that all over Twitter. He fought Magister in Losers, and now he has to fight Quick in Losers, Ken. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, all right, is that, wait, Mario? Okay, you know what? Zachary also one of those character specialists, or not character specialists, but like specializes in the game itself rather than anything else. So he can definitely pick up a character and just start to do well with him. All right, what's the option going to be at the ledge? Goes for a nair. Nice, good nair out of the. I'm sorry, good up B out of the nair. Yeah. Okay, point blade boomerang. That's going to lead into free fair. I do like it. T is trying to keep the space in between him and Zachary. He knows Mario grabs are not where I want to be with. The up B is one of Link's fastest grounded options there. Coming up frame seven with the forward tilt to finish it off before he even grabs the ledge. T with the first lead. Yeah, just the timing on that forward tilt. Very brave of T to go for that because he could have been a sitting duck if uh, Zachary decided to go for stage at that point. Yeah, just keeping Zachary at, at bay at this point. Doing an amazing job. Air to air, he's beating him out. Not much he can do at this point. I'm actually going to say, I think T is, uh, the reason why Zachary might be going Mario is the last two time these two fought, it wasn't an Omar Bora, actually. Okay. Decides to recover back from the ledge. Okay. Also, not enough to do it. Okay. Link's heavy. He's got all that equipment on him. Yeah. Especially if he's from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, the last time Link, I, the last time that I remember seeing T fight against Zachary. Zachary went Joker, and, and T was actually able to take it over his Joker. Mm -hmm. So I do see this Mario pick being a little bit more comfortable for Zachary. Yeah, we'll see. Directional air dodge back. He's able to make it back, though. Oh, the pressure oh, the is on at the lawn, too. <laughs> Zachary just standing there. He's scared, man. He could go for four tilt. I was going to say that. That was usually one of those options you could see because it does catch Mario at that up B. Alrighty, so. Two, to, two stocks to one right now. Nice. Goes for the reverse up tilt because he knows it's a better way of connecting from the down throw. Yeah, because it hits from behind him <laughs> instead. Yeah, Zachary hasn't really been able to do Mario stuff. None of this is the first time. He's finally able to do it. Not going to get a spike out of it. And nice. It Using the Nair actually to land on the stage. Not even to worry about the landing lag. Mm -hmm. Okay, now he's got the damage back racked up. What's the follow-up going to be? No yeah. jab reset. He doesn't falter with the shield. He's worried about going for an out-of-shield option, which <gasps> would usually be Link Nair. Mm -hmm. Tech roll in, but he's able to make it back. Good boomerang. He's looking for an opportunity to push in with boomerang, but he hasn't found it just yet. I like it. That's the thing about T2. He's making sure he doesn't make the first play out of the shield against Zachary. He knows what Zachary is looking for. Mm -hmm. Great parry. Yeah, and he moves immediately after it, too. He might have been looking for a follow-up or using that parry to move it out of the situation. Yeah, T doing a good job of just zoning him out, trying to figure out how long he can keep this up. Edgeguard scenario. Uses an air to get rid of the fireball hitbox. I like it. Oh, and I like that. Just meets him in the air-to-air, -air, decides to call him out on his shenanigans there, on his offense. Nice. Immediately. Usually Boomerang Fair is one of the Link's good follow-ups out of Boomerang, and T was looking for it. Oh, trying to hit him with the reverse hit of the up B, but unfortunately will get scooped up from the down tilt into the up air. Yeah. Okay, big opportunity here. Not going to get a combo. And the oh. one thing for Zachary, too, is he's cautious around the shield because he's been getting hit by T's up B. Mm -hmm. And up B out of shield is one of Link's options out of shield that he loves to go for being one of the fastest grounded moves he has. Oh, Close trying to, to find a tech chase. He teched away last time, so I think mm -hmm. he thought that he was going to do it again, but not quite. Good mix up from Zachary. 
Good nair to trade a uh, nearly whiffy up smash fireball on the up smash. The not, not the quickest, but definitely gets the job done, especially if you mm. need the range to cover your out of shield options. Exactly, and the way that the way that Zachary was kind of spacing his aerials around T. It was to also, like I mentioned earlier, he wants to avoid getting hit by the up out of shield, especially when it's grounded also. But this time, when T saw that Zachary was going to be up there for an aerial, he immediately knows, okay, up smash will cover the aerial aerial region, and that'll take care of T while I'm at it. And I mentioned earlier, right, uh, T did beat Zachary the last time these two have played in Umabura SP4. That's why I feel like Zachary may not be going Joker. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. And he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, when a player like T, one of the best links in Japan and in the world, honestly, has a, has a some. I wouldn't be able to tell you guys if he does have a winning record over him, but when he's won against one of your best characters, being Joker, it gives you some time to think. Where do I want to go in terms of stage, and where do I want to go in terms of character? See, he's actually kind of giving himself some thought because he knows what T is dead to his Joker, mm -hmm. but he might be feeling a little bit more confident. That was Umar Bora, but we are here in Kango Saka, and we'll see what T here can do against Zachary's Joker. Three, two, All right, let's see here. One, He's gonna have a lot more agility to navigate around the projectiles too, so we'll just have to see because. T is pretty good at air-to-air -air and in grounded combat, so we'll have to see if uh, he can get around it or if the Joker's going to be the right pick this time around. Okay. Ah, not going to follow with the up tilt, but still gets another opportunity for another combo here. Nice to try to go for the follow-up after the strong hit of Nair. Of course, you do get a lot of follow-ups from Link Nair. Either weak hit or strong hit, you can get things like jab, grab. Yeah, but so far, having a hard time just making it back to center stage. There we go. Finally finds it, but still, Zachary on top of him, trying to get him back out into the into the open. Oh, the drag down, but no follow from there. Back that was we'll unfortunate. The stretcher comes in. Nice. He goes for the reverse hit. He spaced himself so he wasn't going to get punished, but unfortunately, Zachary wasn't even there for the punish, and T just fell out. Yeah. That's just gonna be an SD. I, I mean, he was at a it might as well SD at a high percent than at a very low percent. So True. definitely works out for him. Bomb combo. <laughs> Usually for he's looking for it. Yeah, for Zachary. But I think what I want him to see if Link can actually pull off the bomb fair loop. Yeah, that's definitely uh, something I haven't seen quite happen yet. <laughs> yeah, like in a very high level match. So it could be an opportunity. But it's I feel like just in general, T is not really a bomb type of Link. You know. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't like that in the. Uh, in Smash 4, either. No. He was a he was a normals and air to air type of Link, which is interesting to think about, since Link usually is not that bad or not that good in that scenario. Mm -hmm. So, at least compared to other characters. But anyways, here we go. Bomb exploding there. Of course, if you guys are wondering, the bomb actually does have a 30 second counter. Nice. Okay, Looking for the down. forward air after the boomerang hit. Yeah, drag down fair one. Very nice. Has a lot of hit stun, so you're able to mm -hmm. follow up after that too. Seems Zachary like really looking for something there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He looking to move out of the center stage. And that's one thing he's looking for is the, fo the fair follow-ups, too. And like you mentioned earlier, uh, fair one, if you can drag your opponent down, the hit stun is enough to follow up immediately afterwards. Link is quite the heavyweight. He's going to go for the bomb recovery. Yep, very nice. And if you guys are wondering how you guys can pull that off, you have to Z-drop the bomb the minute the bomb actually reaches around Link's chest area. Z-drop it, then explode it. Yeah, you need to wait a little bit because he puts it above his head. If, mm -hmm. you, if you do it immediately, then the bomb doesn't even reach you. Oh, so close. Oh, and he oh. lets go of the shield at the wrong time. That was very nice. I mean, the bomb detonation itself is in a mix-up, you know? Yeah. So. Even then, the bomb bounce being an actual hitbox, too, if it's bouncing, can also be a really good opportunity for T to actually pull out as an edge guard as well. Yeah. Bomb is at the ledge, too. Okay, me some minute air to air. No follow up after the nair, too. Yeah. Kind of a sitting duck, didn't fast follow it. Good parry. Wait yeah. for the boomerang hit. Great nice. parry, actually, yeah. Follow up with a fair. Blank. He DI'd out that time. Usually if you're being hit by a boomerang, you're kind of DI'ing in already because you didn't expect it. Right. But uh, at, that, at that point, he was DI'ing out. So Zachary going to live to fight another day. Arsene available now. Oh, 
I just see T going for a lot of those neutral airs. It is one of Link's best aerials in the game, too. <gasps> oh, so close to the punish, but he gets it with the up smash. Not it just yet, though. Arsene has run out of meter. Yeah, that felt, that felt really quick for, for Arsene, personally. Okay, the up air not quite going to work out that time. He's just looking for something that fair, too. Up yeah, oh, he did out of shield. Not enough just yet. Oh, the bomb all down there. there. Yeah, and that's enough. That's enough to do it. And Nair is so good for catching a lot of tether recoveries, too. And Joker is one of those characters with a tether recovery. And he knows, even if my bomb doesn't go for it, I'm forcing Zachary to go low, or he has to go for that up B. Mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier how Link does have great tech with the instant Zara attack cancel bomb fair loops. That's something we don't see T pull out at all. And it's one of those Link techs that do separate the stronger and the weaker players of Link's mains. And T still demonstrates just his raw understanding of Link's neutral and how far he can carry that. And you mentioned earlier, Sedge, he's not very a bomb-oriented Link. Well, okay, sticking with the Joker again. Alrighty. You know when Zach, when Zachary just sits there like expressionless, I just think about that meme where the guy, the dog's in the fire and he's like, "This is fine." <laughs> <laughs> that was that was them Sora versus Shogun. Yeah. <laughs> Moving back on the poker. Oh, catches him. All right. I respect it too. Like Zachary understands. Me, Joker is probably one of my best characters that I do have in the toolkit. But if I'm broken record to say this, right, this is the same situation where T was against Zachary back in Umabora. I guess not the recent one, but SP4. Turn around, up tilt, not gonna get that follow up. But still a lot of damage so far. I'll try to oh, finish that off was with close spin too. attack, yeah. Usually down tilt to spin attack can work. Also down tilt, raw back air to raw back air. Okay, how does he get back? Okay, nice goes. Bomb. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was gonna land on the stage, but he just kind of wall bounced instead. Bomb drop, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good play here. I like how he delayed it too. He, like, he didn't do it immediately, he just waited. Mm -hmm. So it mixes up the timing and uh, makes up even more. Bomb in play. It's also good to understand too, even if you do get the bomb recovery, you have to see what position you're at, because you might have to tech yourself before you land as well. Right. Calls up the forward air, of course. Link does have starting frames. Not too kind to him. Oh, uh, no edge guard though. Ooh. And no drag downs enough to bring out. T, T at 176, Link is a heavyweight, he's still able to survive. Yeah, take aim doesn't quite hit underneath over there. It's, it's possible because uh, I've seen people use it for edge guarding all the time, just kind of mis-executed it looked like. There we go, four tilt, finally gonna be able to take that stock. Even with Zachary going for a four tilt and not a back throw at the ledge. Yeah. And it's possible that Zachary didn't want to see an edge guard situation play out knowing that T can go for a bomb jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zachary really tried to apply some shield pressure, but that up smash out of shield after the aerials weren't working. But there we go, drags him back down, gets a lot of damage out of it. Oh, miss grab. I think he has one of the fastest grabs in the game, but not the best at range. Mm -hmm. How does he get back from the ledge? Okay. Respects the fair one. There, yep. Not quite enough to do it yet, he still had his jump too. Yeah, it's like every time he like throws a boomerang, he, he's so good at hit confirming or then realizing it's not going to hit and then just tries to cover like a backer behind him instead. Oh, and Zachary at the platform to meet him for the up air. Yeah, that was nice. They, of course, you are in hit stun because of the of the bomb itself, so you can follow up with a combo if you know where they're going to end up. Mm -hmm. So that was good from Zachary to just wait for the reaction on that. Yeah, and you, you have to wait a while where usually Link would like to go for an air when he's landing too because yeah. it does have a lasting hitbox. Zachary slowly taking control here. This is T at game point. Sorry, set point and game point almost. Uh, oh, misdirection. Yeah, I think I think he might have inputted too hard, so he got like a turnaround on the controller or something like that. Yeah, so now Zachary on top of T. Looking like a much different game this time around. Yeah, now that he's really behind, he has the one that has to try to force the tempo of the match. Great tech, too. Mm -hmm. Not enough, though, from Zachary going to go for that much. Good parry, but he faces the wrong direction afterwards. Yeah. It's just in general, I feel like Link's a difficult character to try and set the pace of the match with. 
So it's really working out in Zachary's favor that he's utilizing Joker to be able to keep oh. up this well. Yeah. Oh, but that one will be a tough trade for T, and Zachary was the first game on the board. Finally on the board there, yeah. Pretty good stuff for T. Um, nonetheless, though, Zachary has slowly adapted to T's game plan, and honestly, having a lead against T in the and the matchup there was really good for Zachary. Yeah. Also, understanding too, like you said, you are in hit zone when you go for the bomb jump recovery, so you kind of have to go for an opportunity where you go for like an up air, like the way Zachary did. Mm -hmm. All right, game four. See how things go here. T still at set point. What's the round start? Nice. Goes for a full old turnaround against Zachary, and he still had the boomerang. Oh no, you got the hard nair. Yeah, I feel like, uh, at least for that third game, usually what happened was that if Zachary misses his offense, T usually defensively gets a big turnaround and then is able to push uh, the advantage after that bomb. Maybe. No, no, he's a little too low. Time. He's yeah. a little too low. Not okay. enough time. Yeah, that's gonna be a big stock. Yeah, if if T doesn't get his defenses up, then then he starts to crumble. So, okay, that well, almost works. So he goes for the nair, yeah, but he knows he kind of has to pull back up because he's gonna go way too low to recover. Mm -hmm. That trade would have not been worth it, even if he took care of Zachary's stock. Yeah. So this time around, I think Zachary is doing a much better on the offense. He's not missing as many opportunities. No. So that's making yeah. T have to readjust his game plan because he hasn't been able to get as many openings because of it. In there. T has to be careful on his landing as well. That's why you kind of see him use the double jump. Okay, return. Decides to stall Joker right there for a second. Oh, back in the nair. Oh, so the attack goes the other side. And it's the way, it usually will send your opponent the opposite direction depending on how you get crossed up over it. But the up tilt will take care of it. T on 69% here. Two stocks to two. Zachary with percent lead. Just to grab out of the nair. And I mentioned earlier too, either the weak hit or the strong hit, you kind of have to anticipate which hit you're going to get mm -hmm. and then follow up with either a grab or a jab. Ah, oh, trying to meet each other in the air air, but they respect each other, so it's like they're just staying right outside of the range. Not quite working yet. Nice. Holds the shield, but unfortunately not enough with the up smash. Even I see uh, Arrow, one of our local link mates, go for those options as well. Oh, Tendra Karn, there we go. Arsene is available. I mean, T is not afraid if Arsene is available. He, oh, just, no. he still goes in. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Link's damage. Yeah. His overall damage and his ability to kind of just stop Arsene from recovering, too. You do only get invincibility from Wings of Rebellion for the first 24 frames. And Link's Nair does last quite a while. But coming in for a second time, that's going to give T a grab and the opportunity to put him off the stage. We could have down air, not enough, but T still not able to recover with the bomb, but he, man, he corrects me. Yeah. He corrects me. <laughs> Just enough time. Barely made it back. But, I mean, Zachary still not letting up. He's taking this stock all the way to 100%. Nice. And that's kind of one of those things about forward air, too, is it's the second hit that's one of the strongest hits. And, well, it is the strongest hit, and it will actually, it's a really good mix against your opponent, especially if you're trying to go for a full hop forward air. I'm gonna smash out of the shield here, especially when he saw Zachary cross him up like that. T now slapping his, pretty much his lap, he's feeling it, dude. He doesn't want to go down yet. Oh, man, he's going in all of a sudden. Oh, oh no! <laughs> he tried to go for a big read right there, try to push himself in a good position. Not quite, though. Bartel, he's feeling himself here. Boomerang, no neutral just yet. T has given up on going for those reverse up beats because he knows if he goes for him, Zachary is going to be the one punishing him. Yeah. Alrighty, now he's stuck at the ledge. Arsene the is available. Nice. Oh, he just rolls behind. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was go. good too because he doesn't want to let go or go for an out of shield option because he doesn't want to get called out. Back air, Link is right. heavy. T stop. Mm, tech, and he gets the recovery still. I thought that was going to be too much knockback, but he actually did it. Oh, needs some air to air. Oh, and he, oh, and he rushed out on the second four smash, and T <laughs> brings it back. All the way from the depths, T with the pop off, with the still respectful look at Zachary. Ah, uh, you hate to see it, but you know what? There can only be one winner per match, so yeah. that just happens to be 